Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss another very important usage of artificial intelligence in software testing and what all I have seen in the past one year with the emerging AI technologies and how I am able to use it in our projects and day-to-day -day work that we are doing in the organization. Now the first and foremost thing is basically these are all usages or the experience that I had there are a lot more usages and application of artificial intelligence in software testing so let's get started with this and what I'll do is I'll cover five key points and aspects that I have experienced and I have used it at some point in the past so the first and foremost thing that I have used or experienced in terms of AI benefit in software testing is suggestion of the scenarios or the testing scenarios and the test case right now within organization there are some organizations which are developing the proprietary tool as well or basically you know, a, a tool which is based on the AI could be on chat GPT or other platforms which use and train those tools on the existing database or set of scenarios and test cases that they already have right now based on that the organization is able to get the really customized or very specific results of test case suggestion for that particular organization that's one case but even if that is not customized or ai is not customized or used from the from the organization perspective or organization data perspective still you will be able to use chat gpt for example to get the test case suggestion right so chat gpt is very very powerful if say for example you just go in there type in plain english that i want test cases for this particular module right login module or registration module or something even complex as well you will start getting the suggestion of the test scenarios and test cases the things that you should go ahead and test right now based on those suggestions it's your responsibility responsibility then to analyze those suggestions that are being given by the artificial intelligence tool and then see what tweaks and changes that you need to do and use those right so what this does is it helps you to quickly create the test cases right so instead of typing everything you can quickly just type in the ai query into the tool and the test cases or the scenarios will be popped up and then you can see whether they are sufficient whether they are well written enough or you need to do changes mostly you'll do some changes based on the context and there will be some gaps which you'll go ahead and add right but overall it will save a lot of time so that's the first usage that is very very powerful that i have seen myself the second very good benefit that i see of ai now most of the tools it tools that you use for example jira and confluence they have started providing the artificial intelligence capability in the tools itself right so within jira say for example you want to search something so there is a jira ai intelligence already incorporated you want to search the for the issues you can type in plain english right like previously we used to have this jira query language we had to write that or we, we had to define the query in the basic section of the query as well but now with the ai feature within jira itself you can go ahead and start or type the plain english that i want to get all the issues that are blocking this particular feature right so the artificial intelligence within jira the engine will understand okay for this particular feature what all blocking issues are there based on that plain english it will fetch the results accordingly now it's your responsibility to make sure that the results are absolutely 100% correct and nothing has been missed right but quickly it will be able to mostly it's accurate right so it's it's not that it is you know, even like half accurate it's it's very close to accurate but not 100% right it could be because it's just a model right so it could it, it returns the results based on what it has learned so whatever results you are getting you have to make sure that you validate those as well right so that's the second very important use case that I have used so AI within Jira Confluence and many other tools right there are automation tools as well so they say low code no code and AI testing and all of that I'll explore some of those and I'm 
come with the tutorials on that basically what is the capability or how much those tools whatever they claim are supporting right so you will see that live as well now the third very important aspect of artificial intelligence is generating code snippets for common automation modules or scenarios right for example i want to read data from csv file i can go ahead and in chat gpt write this particular statement and i want this code in java right so based on that statement chat gpt will go ahead and fetch me the java code to read uh, read the data from the csv file now you just pick that snippet test it see if there are any changes required update it make sure it works and then straight away use in your code right so that's another benefit but when i say these are the benefits i don't recommend that you don't go ahead and learn the logic of reading the data from csv file or property file why you need to learn because so that you can understand whether whatever has been popped up or whatever has been generated the code whether it's correct or not right you are able to debug right so learning is not just about or basically ai usage is to make your work quicker right not to make you more of a dumb so in in that particular sense it's useful that you go ahead and whenever you are going ahead and exploring the ai tools and technologies you should not assume that you don't need to learn anything anymore right you definitely need to learn many things the programming and everything so that you make the wise decision and informed decision right so you know okay this code is correct i can go ahead and use it ai tools are very powerful they provide mostly good code and it's your based on your scenarios and your usage you have to go ahead and maybe tweak things and if you don't understand and you straight away just keep copying and pasting you are ending up in a big sort of problem you are not able to going to learn automation right so that's where learning even though you are expediting your work that doesn't mean that you stop learning the coding or any of the test case designing and those sort of things right that is not going to go away in i i don't see it going away right because human intelligence cannot be replaced right ai can replace repetitive tasks but human intelligence cannot be replaced so your jobs are safe developers jobs are safe wherever there is intelligence required research required right um the the human aspect is required that is going to stay now the fourth scenario that i, that I want to cover is generating test cases from BDD scenarios, right? So you have the behavior driven development Ger Gherkin syntax and format. Basically, you just put in there and say, based on that, you want to generate the scenarios or test cases, AI tools will, will be able to, you know, analyze and fetch the test cases for you. Now you go ahead and see what all test cases are generated. If there are any gaps, you add more test cases, or if there are any test cases that you want to update, go ahead and change those, right? That's another very important usage. The last one that I want to cover is in the api testing right within postman as well there is a artificial intelligence feature which they have added very uh, i think long ago and you can use that to generate the code snippets quickly to test something the, within the api testing for example you are testing a rest api you can just use that particular capability within the tool itself or within other external tool for example chat gpt and you can say write a plain english that i want to test this particular api or or whatever api and i want to test these many response codes so give me the the snippet code snippet for that you will get more or less good code snippet that you have to analyze and then use it right so all of these scenarios that you that i have covered will make your work quicker right you don't have to type everything from scratch things will be typed in and provided you now you have to as the software tester as a smart person basically you need to know how you are going to search and use it so once you go ahead and search you get the suggestions then your knowledge will help you to understand what has been provided is it valid is it valid uh, for your scenario is it not valid if it is valid yes i accept it do are there any changes required do the changes and use it right so that makes your work really quick as the software tester as an automation tester as an api whatever right as a, as as a testing person that expedites all your work so go ahead explore the artificial intelligence capabilities that are being provided in the tools within your organization because now with the artificial intelligence you need to 
explore AI as well because every tool will provide more or less has provided or if not they will provide in future and you will be relying more on that because now the expectation will be other person is able to do or complete tasks quickly why are you not able to do it because you are not using the tools and the artificial intelligence capability well enough as others in your team might be using right so that's where I'm saying that AI is not going to take your job but it is going to take your job if you are not going to learn how to use artificial intelligence and you slack behind or you are slow to deliver results obviously company will prefer or organizations will prefer the people who learned how to use it and deliver results faster that's where there is a lot of conversation communication happening that AI will take away jobs AI will take away jobs if you do not know how to use it and you are not able to provide the expedited results because the tools are being provided to you now to deliver things faster and you are not using it to deliver things faster that might result in job loss okay so no job losses happen because of some new technology coming in the job losses or people only those people lose job who are not able to build the skills around those new technologies and things that are coming into the market okay so that's all for this particular video around the AI benefits in software testing I hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching